name is Valencia Kenge and today I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my purse. So first things first, the first thing I usually almost always carry is my phone because it pretty much has everything inside of it. I have Apple Pay set up so whenever I'm in the shop it just makes things 10 times convenient to just get in and out of the shop especially with this entire pandemic. It has an amazing camera so whenever I'm just like living in the moment and I see like a beautiful scene I want to capture, first thing I grab is my phone and I'll be able to capture just that. And then it also just keeps me in touch with my friends and family whenever I need to, you know, just vent to someone and um, this allows me to do that. <laughs> Recently I've been trying out this thing about carrying contacts around with me. I was on the hunt for like a little portable hard case that I can put my contacts in. As you can see I've kind of used up what's in here. The idea is that I have like spare contacts in here just in case anything happens and I don't want to put my glasses on. But I feel like it's even slightly too big so I might look for something a bit smaller. And it has this cute panda beside it so that's definitely a bonus. Another thing I have at the moment is of course hand sanitizer. I don't know if it was just me but even before this whole pandemic thing came worldwide, I always had hand sanitizer. People were just very unhygienic before this whole pandemic. What else? I also have my wallet. I used to be a completely like giant wallet kind of girl. But recently for the past two years I would say I downsized and I don't know, I just didn't need as much cards as I had in my other ones. Kind of spare train tickets that I don't really need. But everything is in here, loyalty cards. If I probably can get rid of more cards and make them more slim down. At the moment, this is what it's looking like and it is what it is. Okay, moving on. I always, 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 always need to make sure that I'm carrying some sort of gum or mints with me. But if be like completely obsessed with mints, I would always just go to the store and just make sure that I can't like, make sure that mint was the thing that I grabbed. Like, you know, talking around people and your breath not being on point. If you know me, I always have gum. If you need gum, I got you. There's no such thing as sharing too much gum. Of course, of course, then usually it's my lip balm or my lip gloss. My lips need to also stay hydrated. Lip gloss is just my go-to. I can't really say much other than that. What else? What's this? Oh, let me clean the hairs actually. Let me take out the hairs. I don't want you guys to see too much because it's kind of, you know, dusty looking. But let me just get this out. We're just going to pretend that I didn't do that whole little scene. So the next thing I carry in my bag most of the times is always this kind of like comb to make sure my hair is just not out of place and just you know doing what it has to do. Sometimes hair likes to do its own thing, has its own mind sometimes. It's just kind of a nice size to have in most of my bags and it's just a job. And it's also very easy to get rid of the hairs because of this little... Another thing I've recently been doing is making sure that I have some sort of beanie or something to cover my head because sometimes the wig isn't always going to be like laid down, glued down, melted, all of that stuff. Sometimes the wig is just going to do what the wig wants to do and to make sure that nothing is, you know, looking too crazy, a beanie always helps, preferably a black one. I would pop it on now but my hair looks kind of cute, I don't even want to mess it up. But you guys get the idea, it keeps your head warm plus it just keeps what doesn't have to be seen hidden. What else is here? We're in the pandemic, so I have usually a spare mask in my bag, just in case I always do have a spare one. And I like that the interior is brown. I don't like masks where the interiors are white because I usually just always get it like stained with makeup. So brown or black preferably. <sighs> now i'm done so 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 first of all no i don't usually carry this many scrunchies or bobbins in my bag but just for the sake of this video i brought out a few from my collection yeah a lot of my scrunchies never survive more than a month to be honest because either my mom or my sister they borrow it from me and then i just never get it back so then i'm like r.i.p but so far these are the four surviving bobbins that i could find all of them are just like really cute and usually i get them from claire's but it depends i'm definitely gonna grow out my scrunchy collection so next thing is my airpod i kind of have an obsession with these blue monarch butterfly i went a bit crazy these last recent months i'm basically butterfly crazy and the chain just adds a little personal touch the other side is black so i don't know what else 
so like i said before if i'm not carrying my contacts i have my oops <laughs> i have my glasses usually it's either wearing contacts or i'm wearing glasses so i have my glasses here oh i was like why can i see i realized i just don't have contacts and so that's why i can see with them I don't wear them too often on my social medias but if you ever see me just chilling at home you'll see me wearing these glasses i love to just cut eye and they just suit my face my eyes and everything like that so i usually use this that's why i look kind of dirty because i actually do use it next like this <laughs> this one is kind of extra even i will admit it myself but Hear me out now. It's winter in Ireland and sometimes the fit is just on point and I don't want to sacrifice wearing a beanie or something too heavy to cover myself in case it's raining outside. I just want to make sure that just nothing gets damaged, that everything's intact. So the umbrella just protects me from any unpredictable weather conditions. I don't know if anyone cares, but yeah. That's the umbrella I have. Next thing is my MAC powder because you never know, sometimes your skin could, you know, just not be doing what it's supposed to do. I just powder myself down and everything looks good as new. That's what that's for. I do like to have like options in my bag of something to eat because I just never know where I'm going to be and if I'm going to be hungry, if I need some extra energy. So I just keep some sort of candy or yeah, usually some kind of bar or candy in my bag and Honestly, what I have right now is Milky Bar. Yeah, that's there. <laughs> Next is my keys. Okay, I know it's probably a tad bit on the side overboard, but who cares? Like, this is actually a masterpiece. Like, I could frame this and just look at it all day. Just look at how everything's aligned. The idea is this, like, what would you call this? <laughs> like holder I have the keys all in the same ringlet and I have my puppy puff with the V in silver then I also have a second V that is in gold I have this box bonheur kind of wooden keychain that I got in Belgium coca-cola just because I have the among us cyan proof skin this thing I got in a thrift store in Dublin just a drink opener a bunch of like a Tesco cards like little student discount cards and stuff like that this thing that says foxy lady oh the rose yeah those are my keys of course I always have to have some sort of scent with me whether it's this or my other two that I currently wear so Idol by Lancome or Gabrielle by Chanel the one I usually go for are just body mist from Victoria's Secret my number one scent from there is the brush I just love how it smells how do I describe it like it's definitely sweet but this one's more like sultry and mature let me see what they described it as they said they literally said sultry <laughs> This says sultry woods, midnight mandarin, and sparks fly. Love heart X. I don't know about the whole flies, but definitely sultry. So this is almost always in my bag as well. This okay. I'm gonna pair this up with one of the other things. So most times, if I do leave the house wearing makeup, I bring like spares of things I know I need. So if I have my eyebrows drawn on, I usually bring my eyebrow pencil with me just in case anything rubs on it. I want to be able to touch it up. At the moment, I just popped in the eyeliner, the Fenty Beauty eyeliner that I have on right now. If I'm wearing lashes, I always, always, always have to bring eyelash glue. This is just the duo black eyelash glue. I don't know how I feel about this particular glue just yet. These are the two makeup items that I have. And to go in line with that, I also usually have this like face brush from Bare Minerals. It's, it's actually showing sage, but it does what it's supposed to do. It just helps and spreads the product more evenly. So I have that there for that purpose. So if you guys watched one of my other videos, you'll know this famous mirror. It's double-sided. One side is super zoomed in, the other side is just normal. You know how you want to look and this is here to help you do that. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that's in my bag, guys. I hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know what you guys think. Share this video with anyone you feel will enjoy watching me go through my bag. I don't know what else to say and I'm gonna see you guys later. Ciao.